Good morning, so I'm headed to uni today and today I'm actually going to be showing you bubble tea in Bath. Um, very excited. Actually last year I tried polled and bubble tea and I didn't really like it. So we're going to try again and hopefully I will like it more. So. £2.95, the bubble tea at Bolden is actually the cheapest of all of the bubble teas shops that I'm going to show you. So with coconut jelly, it was actually quite nice. So check it out. So I was going to go to Gung Fu Tea Express, but <laughs> they didn't have what I wanted. So I was going to go to the other place called Tea Lip. But unfortunately they were closed or something but I managed to pick these up from fresh they are bubble milk tea mochis they look like this so I'm gonna try them for you the mochis come in a packet that look like this um, and it's pretty standard packaging As you can see the flower probably gets everywhere and inside there is a tapioca pearl which is surrounded by what tastes like milk tea and it is pretty chewy very chewy and at 1.99 it's not that bad either next up tea list this is located in the corridor which is in the center of the city i brought it home to use my reusable straw as well so Today I got this bubble tea from Teelith. It is the cold regular jasmine um, milk tea with tapioca or pearls as you can see. Um, and I'm not mad at it, on it, to be honest. I don't know why I picked that jasmine tea because I don't really like how fragrant it is. So that isn't their fault. Um, yeah, this was the regular size, so it was £3.85. And I'd say it's all right, to be honest. And I think it's about six out of 10 for value for money because the pearls are too hard and not chewy enough. So that is why I would give it a six out of 10. And also because, yeah, it's not that great. I'm not wowed, but also obviously it's down to like personal taste. So definitely go and try tea list if you would like to try a bubble tea in Bath um, because it is pretty popular being one of three bubble tea places in Bath. So do try it and let me know what you think. So since the two bubble tea shops were closed, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show you how to make your own bubble tea. So all you're going to need is some brown sugar, which you can get at fresh, and some tapioca, which you can also get at fresh, and some Lipton milk tea powder. Or if you don't have that, you can also use normal tea. And I like my tea to be cold, so I have already made the tea and cooled it down, as you can see in this clip. So let's just get going. So I like to add around a uh, 1 to 2 ratio of brown sugar and water and then once it's boiling turn the heat down and let it simmer until it reduces and meanwhile you can cook the tapioca so pour the tapioca into boiling water use as much as you like and in the meantime fill up a bowl with cold water to um, plunge the tapioca in so that it stops cooking and after about five minutes, you can take the tapioca out or even less, depending on how soft you want it, and then put it into the cold water. By about 10 minutes, your brown sugar syrup mix should be bubbling and reducing. So at this point, you can add your tapioca and let it simmer for another few minutes until the consistency is as you like it. Put in the tapioca and brown sugar syrup into a container of your choice and then simply add your milk tea. And there you have it, homemade bubble tea. final stop is Gong Fu Tea Express and this is located on Lower Borough Walls and it is super cute. 
I got the Hong Kong milk tea with grass jelly. Super nice and I actually think this is my favourite place. So if you are interested in any of these shops, make sure to check them out and check out the links in the description for more information.